So 100 Deadly Skills, Rugged Life. Of course, I've got to ask you, zombie apocalypse, what do you do? <laughs> well, first you have to identify out of the 32 different kinds of zombies that I've seen listed, you have to identify which one it is you're dealing with. You know, How do you know? Right? There's fast twitch, there's slow twitch, there's the ones that run fast, the ones that run slow. There's the ones that work in hives, you know? Uh, there's some that only come out at night. I mean, but once you identify which one you're dealing with, then you can come up with the proper protocol to deal with it. What would be your plan? What would be your, <laughs> I, I've got I've got two plans. My wife and I talk about this all the time. What what would be your go-to plan? Well, there's two plans that you effectively should have. There is the bug in and then there is the bug out, right? Now, bugging in means that you have basically fortified your current place where you live. You have all the supplies you need and you can really hunker down and survive. You can sustain life right now with everything you've got for a long period of time. The bug out means, okay, now I've got my bug out bag, my loadouts, I've got everything figured out and sorted that can go into a vehicle. The vehicle has, you know, $3,000 worth of cash inside, it already has all the fuel tanks that are full. So that once I start moving, I don't have to stop. And when I do stop, I'm paying cash all the way. And there's never going to be any other issue with me getting fuel to get to wherever it is I'm going that, you know, whether that's a you know, the evacuation route, or it's to your cabin in the mountains where you know you can hold up and be safe. But I mean, so, so you think fuel is actually, so this is interesting because the, the two plans, I live, I live near <laughs> one of the great lakes. Yeah. I live about, um, gosh, I've run there. I live uh, three miles from the edge of the great lake. Uh, nice. So I've always had two plans. I, I'm surprised you said cash because my plan was to just steal everything. <laughs> I imagine everything's going bananas. So either I go down to one of those uh, fancy uh, uh, marinas and I steal a large boat and then yeah. I hunker down in the middle of a great lake because then, you know, You're no protected. One, yeah. I'm protected and I have fresh water access and, and I can fish and all that stuff. Or I head up north I keep heading north, but I always thought the biggest issue would be uh, congestion and other people freaking out as opposed yeah. to like running out of fuel or food or anything like that. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I agree with everything you just said. I think really, you know, your your level of prep and status and know-how really drives the train on this at the end of the day, you know, like the bug in or bug out, they're, they're, it's two different worlds, but the goal is, you know, really avoiding avoiding all of it. Right. I mean, if I'm going to take a route out of town, I'm not taking the one that's uh, most traveled. I'm going to take the route that's least traveled. Um, you know, if uh, money, money is great, probably the first couple of weeks, you're going to run out, but people will take your money and money becomes it, it, it until other things be in, until we get into a bartering system, which is what's going to happen in a situation like that, or let's go to real world. Like if you're going to talk about like you look at Russia invading Ukraine, you know, imagine what those people are going through and, the, and realizing, wow, I didn't really have a plan for this. I remember the interviews of Ukrainians before Russia invaded and they thought it was all fake news. Like, no, that's not happening. There's no one at our border. They're doing exercise. They actually believed what Russia was saying. And so did that, you know, I was surprised that probably, you know, most of the European countries also was like, yeah, he's not going to do it, but he did it. And then uh, people were left, you know, they're left stranded and, you know, and then they're forced to figure it out. That's figuring it out when it happens is the wrong time to figure it out as we, as we know. So having a plan goes a long way. And then adjusting it accordingly, you know, obviously being flexible is, a, is also a great way to look at it too. If you're ready to live a more rugged life, what does that mean? Less reliance on other people, more control, more freedom, and honestly, becoming a bit of a badass. Click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation that I had with Clint Emerson.